Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Broadly to Tarot and this reading is from 5th of October to 11th of October so let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love messages for Sagittarius Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and uh, Nine of Cups. Okay. So we have Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is talking about a beggar who doesn't have enough to offer and uh, they are craving for something that others have. So I think this is about someone who feels that they have got nothing to offer you. Okay, when it comes to love attention, they could be someone who is unable to pay attention to a relationship like they cannot be loyal they cannot be dedicated probably they're breaking the rules again and again and they are giving you excuses like they will never do it again and um, then they repeat it so I think with the six of Pentacles um, they are expecting something from you that they cannot offer okay they might be feeling that they are entitled for it they might be expecting you to be honest, to be genuine, to be a dedicated lover when they are doing exactly opposite of that. When they are um, making you feel like you are not that important. When they are breaking the rules again and again. This is someone who knows that you have got a big heart and um, probably you are going to forgive them every time they make a mistake or repeat a mistake. Three of Wands is talking about um, some kind of connection that they think you have with them. Okay, they feel that they have become a part of you and um, you feel everything deeply. So you both must be connected deeply. There is something that they cannot um, um, figure out. I think this person also feels attached to you emotionally because um, before this, it was not... Um, like this like they never felt this kind of emotional connection basically they were numb emotionally and when you came they start feeling things they started feeling like they too can have emotions so they enjoy the kind of attention you give them the kind of uh, emotions you uh, make them feel but then at the same time they don't have enough willpower to change their behavior they don't have enough dedication to um, be a loyal lover and uh, that could be making this relationship complicated you may not understand what to do next so this king of pentacles is very practical someone you are dealing with feels that relationships are um, you know are a choice it's not a necessity if they want to choose it they can if they want to replace it they can if they want to leave it they can and uh, it's not something they need at any cost and uh, probably because of that this person is assuming that um, this relationship is going to work no matter what also they have this feeling that you will give them endless time to work on themselves and um, because of that probably this person is not doing anything seriously okay they think that they don't need to have any sincere devotion at this point because with this Knight of Cups their dreams are going to be true anyways and um, I think Nine of Cups is talking about some kind of uh, manifestation so probably this person believes that they have got a perfect person someone who loves them someone who is perfect someone who makes them feel like they can feel emotions too it is something beautiful and at the same time, someone who has got a big heart, even if they make a mistake a thousand times, um, they will be forgiven. That is what they are feeling like. And um, I think 
With this page of cups, this person feels like they're really lucky. They have found someone um, who can offer them unconditional love and um, they can take as much time as they want to work on something and that could be a problem. They are not paying attention to how these things affect you. Every time they make a mistake, um, you are also bothered. You are also, you know, hurt. So they don't get this idea that you also have a limit. You also have a patience and um, they cannot expect that patience to last forever. So I think there are a lot of things that they need to understand. And uh, probably because of that, this person is not um, acting responsible. They might give you excuses. They might give you reasons uh, for their mistakes and uh, would want you to accept it. They might um, try to convince you that this is the last time they are doing it, but then they will do it again. So I think... This is someone who is immature and the thing that this immaturity is something that you already understand and uh, probably it's not going to affect you if they do not make a serious change. So that could be something to think about because in this process you are getting drained. In this process you are getting hurt and uh, this person is not taking anything seriously and that could be a problem. Okay, you people are not on the same page. This person is way more immature, okay, than you, than your expectation or than what you see right now. So, of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Messages for Sagittarius, the magician, the devil, Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups and the Tower. Okay. So, Queen of Swords is here. I see that you are already upset. You are already heartbroken and uh, you might be in love with this person so much so that you could be feeling that you are stuck in time. You cannot move on. You cannot... Uh, love anything else you cannot focus on anything else this has become um, a priority or this has become an obsession because with this card of the tower seems like something changed separately this person might have done something that shocked you that was beyond your imagination and you never thought that this can happen so with this card of devil, I think um, this person is also getting some kind of toxic and negative ideas from outside, okay? Maybe they're getting advices that are not healthy. Also with this card of magician, everything is quite, um, you know, unclear. Whatever you see might not be true. This person is good at pretending things and probably they are doing it right now. Also with this ace of cups. Tara is telling you that this is not something you deserve. Okay, maybe you feel like this relationship is a blessing or was a blessing. But the thing is, knowing the truth is a blessing because it's going to guide you where you're supposed to be. This is something temporary. This has brought the truth right before you. You need to accept it and... Um, once you accept it and be prepared for the next chapter, the next chapter will appear and um, you will move on to the next level. So let's check an oracle message for you. Combustion. So probably in this relationship you are feeling like you are constantly burning. And this fire is giving them light and warmth to the need. But at the same time, you are getting consumed. You are getting consumed like a fuel and uh, maybe in the end there will not be anything left. So Tara is telling you, do not let this happen. 
and do not let this situation change you because it could be making you better it could be making you a different person so focus on yourself and uh, do not entertain any kind of situation that drains you or makes you feel like you are not a priority or you don't deserve um, efforts to be made for you okay do not let that happen that is the message I get here so this was a reading for this week I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye